Welcome to Kiwi Culture, your guide to New Zealand life and New Zealand language. Today's Kiwi clip is about how much things cost in New Zealand. People come here for many reasons, but cheap prices are not one of them. So here are some realistic examples of how much things cost. Please note, these are the average prices that you are likely to see in everyday life here, but they can vary in different parts of the country and during different seasons. For starters, the New Zealand currency is the New Zealand dollar, and as at May 2019, one New Zealand dollar will get you this much in Euro, this much in Great British Pounds, this much in American dollars, and this much in Australian dollars. Here are some other currencies to compare. The minimum wage for adults is $17.70 per hour before tax. The living wage is $21.15 per hour before tax. And the average income is about $51,000 per year before tax. First, for some comparison, here are some prices of well-known brands sold all over the world. In New Zealand, a 1.5 litre bottle of Coca-Cola is about $2.80. A Big Mac from McDonald's is about $7.30. A sub of the day from Subway is around $4.90. A pizza from Domino's is $5. A two pack of Dove Beauty Cream Bar is $2.99. Head and Shoulders Shampoo or Conditioner is around $4.49 per bottle. 200 ml of Body Butter from The Body Shop is around $38.95. A pair of Converse sneakers is about $100. A set of 12 coloured pencils from Faber-Castell is around $12.99. And a 1 litre bottle of Absolute Vodka is around $40. Now for some specifics, starting with accommodation. At a hostel, a bed in a shared dorm room is about $30 a night and a private room is approximately $100 a night. It's pretty expensive to live alone in New Zealand, so for long-term accommodation, the most typical living situation is sharing a house or apartment with other people. Often this can be about two to four people sharing an apartment, unit or house, although there are cases of many more people living together. Rent prices are given per week in New Zealand, not per month. And for one room in a shared house or apartment, the cheapest you'll probably find anywhere is about $150 a week, including internet and power. This amount is a pretty good deal though, so realistically you're looking at around $200 or more per week, especially if you live close to a city centre. Unlimited internet for one household is around $80 to $100 per month. And electricity or power varies a lot, but for three people in a small unit, for example, you're looking at around $100 to $120 a month during the warmer months. Next up is cafes and restaurants. At cafes, a coffee will be about $4 to $5, a cake or bagel around $6, and something larger like this would be about $20 to $25. For a cheaper restaurant lunch or dinner, you can get lots of quick and yummy meals for about $10 to $15, such as noodles, curries, soups, kebabs, and dumplings, all types of deliciousness. Meals of this price are at some restaurants and also takeaway stores and food courts. But if you're happy to spend more, an average sit-down meal at a restaurant can easily be about $25 to $30 or more for the main, with dessert around $15 to $25, and a beer or glass of wine from $7 to $10.
and unless it's happy hour, expect to pay between $15 to $20 each for cocktails. Now for supermarkets. Cheaper fruits and vegetables such as onions, carrots and bananas are about $2.50 per kilogram. Many everyday fruits such as pears and apples are around $3.50 to $4 per kilogram. And more expensive vegetables are things such as zucchini or sweet potato, which is called kumra here, which can sometimes get up to $6 to $7 per kilo. The seasons make a big difference in this area. For example, avocados can be as low as 89 cents in the summer, but can be up to $5 in the winter. Bread is about $3.50 for a loaf, and breakfast cereal is around $3 to $6, depending on how fancy you like things. Pasta is about $2, and a decent pasta sauce is about $3.50. In terms of animal products, 2 litres of milk is around $3.50, a 12 pack of eggs are about $4 caged and 7 free range, 1 kilogram of cheese is about $8.89, and chicken is around $7 to $9 per kilogram depending on the part of the body. For vegan substitutes, 1 litre of non-dairy milk is around $3 to $4, 300 grams of non-dairy cheese is around $9. 300 grams of non-dairy yogurt is approximately $6. And a pack of five non-meat sausages is approximately $7. For alcohol, beer can be $2 to $5 for a single can and often $12 to $17 for a six pack. Wine is around $10 to $15 a bottle. And transport time. For travelling within cities, bus prices are often about $3 to $6 per trip, depending on how far you go. It's often cheaper if you get a transport card, and we'll look at ways to save money like this in another video coming up soon. Petrol is around $2.26 per litre, and if you own a vehicle, you also need to pay a couple of hundred dollars every year to keep your vehicle registered, and about $50 a year to get your vehicle checked. This safety check is called a WAF, short for Warrant of Fitness. The price for car insurance changes so much depending on your age, location and the type of car, so it's best to call companies directly to get an idea of cost. It's important to note that unlike many other countries, car insurance is not compulsory in New Zealand, so you aren't guaranteed to be sharing the road with other cars that are insured. For travelling within New Zealand, the fastest and most convenient travel around the country is by airplane. Jetstar and Air New Zealand are the airlines which fly domestically. The cheapest flights are usually between the bigger cities, and prices vary, but if you book early, Auckland to Christchurch is about $50 for example, and Auckland to Queenstown is around $79. You can also bus. Auckland to Wellington, for example, can be from $30 to $60 if you book in advance. And if you book really early, most buses have one seat that is $1, but people buy them very quickly. To take the ferry between the North and South Islands is about $50 to $60 one way for one adult. It's extra if you have a vehicle that you're taking as well. Here are some other general costs. A stamp to send a letter within New Zealand is $1.20. Sending postcards internationally is $2.40. And sending a letter internationally is $2.40 for Australia and $3.00 for anywhere else. A doctor's appointment is about $50 if they're your regular doctor and about $80 if you're not registered with them. Gyms are as low as around $7 to $8 per week for the 24-hour style gyms and up to $25 to $30 a week for more fancy gyms. It's approximately $7 to use public swimming pools, a massage is often about $1 a minute, and social dance lessons are often $15 to $20 per class. 
Lastly, movie tickets usually range from $11 to $20, depending on the theatre and whether it's an IMAX theatre. Whew, that's enough numbers from me today. As you can see, New Zealand isn't the cheapest country, but there are ways of travelling or living here on a budget. And we'll look at ways to save in New Zealand in a video coming up shortly. See you next time on Kiwi Culture.